Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Another mostly clear look off the Mount Bachelor camera toward the three sisters. A few clouds in the sky and really this is the image that we are expecting to see through the rest of this week. Clouds coming and going, blue skies, cloudy skies, and then a mixture of both. What a beautiful sky we see here out at Primeville Reservoir. And this is something we also saw yesterday, a mostly clear satellite radar image. Pretty much an identical shot to what we saw yesterday. Rain to our north, a few clouds moving through the Portland area, and then a few of those clouds coming across the Cascades and making their way here into Central Oregon. This is it. This is the pattern that we will see with our cloud cover for the next few days. Another pattern we're going to see is the lighter winds. Really, we're looking at an average of 10 miles per hour. Some points of the day, we may be above 10 in the 10 to 15, and other points of the day, we may be like we are right now in the 5 to 10 miles per hour, but not anticipating any stronger winds until we get to the later part of the week. Once we get into Friday, we could see our winds pick up to that 15 to 20 mile per hour range. Here is the ridge of high pressure that we have been watching for the last few days. As we move into Thursday, you will see it shift and we are tomorrow right at the crest of this ridge of high pressure. This is where our temperatures are going to be the warmest. And right now we are looking at the possibility of the warmest day so far this year. As we go into Friday, that continues to move on and we start to pay attention to what is offshore and moving toward the Pacific. Northwest, which does include a slight chance for showers. You will see this here on our future track. Like I mentioned, the clouds coming and going, and then by the time we get to Friday afternoon, early evening, you'll see those showers along the Cascades. Those do move into Central Oregon just a bit. Here's some right here, a few clouds. That comes and goes, and then now we see a bit another chance of showers right in here. This chance for rain is a very small one, and if it does, it's not going to accumulate to very much precipitation precipitation, just a few light showers as we go through the evening. The temperatures, we talked about those warming up. Look at Bend right now. We are nearing 80 degrees in Bend as well as Warm Springs and those high 70s in Redmond. Tonight, we look at those temperatures staying much on the warm side, looking at the upper 30s to low 40s. This is the warmest night we have had in quite a while. And then tomorrow, we all have a chance to warm up even more. Look at this, high 70s to low 80s. In fact, we all could have that chance to make it into the 80s, just like we all had the chance to make it into the 70s. 70s today. Looking ahead on our seven day, we do begin to cool off on Friday as that cold front heads in. There is that slight chance for rain that we mentioned on Saturday. We average out on Sunday and then begin to warm back up again on Monday. 